Every now and then, Flutterflow needs to upgrade the Flutter version that they are using in the app builder. But this is just so that some features are going to be compatible and for better performance. So in this video, I'm going to show you real quick how you can always upgrade your Flutter version when you are using the Flutterflow uh, local run. So this video is specifically for that purpose. It doesn't matter whatever version um, of Flutter they are currently using, but it's going to be applied in whatever case so recently they just released an update this is uh february 12th right so they're upgrading into they're upgrading to flutter 3.27 so you may want to do that like i'm going to open my uh desktop app i'm using a uh, windows so i'm going to open my desktop app and right here you'll notice like there are some difficulties like i may not be able to use a uh, local run because i've not upgraded my sdk version so let me open for example an example app that i have here test error for example so this is just a project that I test a lot of things on. So right here, you can see um, at the top right here, you can see the current version, Flutter version is 3.27.3. .3, and it was released February 12th, whatsoever. So you can see information on the current version of Flutter that Flutterflow currently supports or is using. So here, this is my local run. I have already been using local run before, but right now it's showing initializing. It might be some other error in your case, something like maybe you'll be stuck at um, upgrading SDK or whatsoever. So yeah, there, there's so many uh, so many ways in which this thing can manifest. So real quick, what you want to do is simply just upgrade the um, SDK version. And if it's stuck at upgrading from Flutterflow, within Flutterflow, let me open my terminal here, my CMD, and let's check the Flutter version. So this is my terminal. I'm just supposed to write Flutter dash dash version to see the current version of Flutter that I'm using. So I get this uh, thing in my terminal. It's trying to run the pop upgrade, resolving dependencies, but it keeps on like failing because Flutterflow requires SDK greater than 3.7 whatsoever. It's failing. So I only noticed this, right? It might be some other way, some other error it might um, show on your own interface, like in some other way, but this is just the idea on how you can um, upgrade that. So over here, if we head over to the Flutter documentation, right? This is Flutter docs. It's at docs.flutter.dev. Then we come here, stay up to date. This is now a sidebar here by the left. And then let's say upgrade. There's information that we can use to upgrade. But if we run something like a Flutter upgrade, it's not going to run on the terminal. Because the information here says if you just run Flutter upgrade, it's going to go. If it goes, then fine for you. But this is something that I can just do Flutter upgrade if Flutterflow is failing. If you run Flutter upgrade and it runs for you, then that's very, very beautiful. But for my own case, I noticed this was not going. So here is a command flutter upgrade this will now run the upgrade so uh this is what you need to do so here let's come under here on sdk archive right sdk archive and this is just going to list out the various sdks that have been released so uh i'm waiting for this this is going to take a while but yeah the, the whole idea is this is not going to execute correctly but this is supposed to upgrade the sdk version so um here, Flutterflow is using, according to um, our code here, Flutterflow or even that release, Flutterflow is currently using 3.27.3. .3. So we can look for that what SDK here and download. This is 3.27.3. .3. I think if we download 3.27.4, it's still going to um, be compatible because Flutterflow says we've upgraded the underlying Flutter version to 3.27. There's no specification on that, uh, the last uh, version value. So right here, Let's get that SDK for um, 3.2, 7.3. So you just click on this thing. Then since it's Windows already, it's going to prompt the zip download. Now I've already downloaded it. It's inside my downloads folder. I can show you here. This is it inside my downloads folder. Give me a second. Now all you have to do is just simply extract this um, Flutter directory that is inside here. So this is a zip, this is a Flutter directory. This is all the files that has to do with that particular SDK, that version and whatnot. And if you see here the version, if you open this file, you're going to see the current version of this uh, Flutter SDK. Now on Windows, I don't know on Mac what path um, Flutter runs. It, it should probably be easy to find. So this thing is still clicking, resolving these dependencies and whatnot. You do like that and fail. I've experienced it. That's why I'm uh, sharing this thing. Okay. So on Windows, um, Flutter is in installed inside this directory, like under uh, um, user's path, 
your username right then you go to updater roaming let me show you guys when you go to c according to my pc see this is this thing is failing closing it so c users i'm going to open my user is called computer care and then if you go under updater this directory updater right go to roaming then you see flutter flow here where is it flutter flow then this flutter flow subdirectory every project that i run on local run has a folder inside here so all of these projects are uh, projects i've run uh i've executed on local run now this flutter directory this flutter directory is the directory of all of these flutter sdks uh, the current sdk that is being used if you see what we have inside this zip is, is similar this is our downloads this is inside downloads flutter 3.27 stable then flutter so you want to remove this um, directory and paste inside here so what i'm going to just do is i'll rename this previous directory of uh, that's inside the flutter uh, flutter flow path right i'm going to rename this to flutter let me just rename it flutter underscore old then i copy because the folder is open in another program okay let me close my flutter flow close this and close the terminal yeah try again mm, i need to close every active thing that is happening so let me close that real quick so i've closed my desktop application that was open now i'm going to rename this previous um flutter folder i'm going to say flutter underscore old and when i've done that all i need to do is to drag this um newly sdk this new sdk that i've downloaded i need to drag it into and copy it into this same uh, directory this new directory that uh, is supposed to be here and when i do that we should now have the new flutter uh, folder here and this is the current flutter uh, version this one is for this archive from this archive that i've downloaded is 3.27.3 now i'm going to open my local run again i'm going to open for my uh, Flutterflow desktop app and then try to see if I can start the local run. So this is it. Let me open the same test error project. Right here, you see everything is still the same, but let me just click here while it is loading. And you see local run initializing. Let me wait for it. And hopefully this time it's not going to stop it's going to initialize successfully oh <laughs> that's it it has come i didn't even notice and now we can normally do our get device to fetch the devices that we have connected and start testing our application and start using uh, the local run so uh real quick that is how you can bypass that those kind of breaks each time that flutter releases um upgrades to a new sdk version and right now yeah if i open my terminal and i run something like flutter version let me see it should go successfully as compared to the other time that it was failing this should execute successfully and show us the current version of flutter that we we are using so something like this flutter dash dash version to show now yeah this is it you see it's correct 3.27.3 now if you don't know um where flutter is executed where this thing the directory i already shown you the directory but something like uh, i think it's which flutter hopefully i'm correct uh, i think this works on 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 this thing on linux but if you have git bash the bash um shell you can run something like that to see the direct path in which that uh, flutter command is executing and that way you can find the directory where flutterflow installs the sdk so um which flutter should show us that path this is the exact path where flutter is uh, executed there's it flutter bin then flutter whatever so yeah real quick that's how you can always upgrade your um flutter versions if you are having any difficulties doing it that's i find that to be very very easy as compared to waiting for flutterflow to handle it here because normally when you try to do this configuration and you come here it's going to you'll be stuck at this set of flutter and it'll be checking for that sdk version then asking you to um, upgrade the sdk version anyways if you like this video and some other videos i'm a little bit occupied these days let be sure to uh, leave a thumbs up 
leave a comment and let me know what kind of videos you want to see on the channel and also please uh subscribe to the channel it really helps me to grow and uh check out the link below to my buy me a coffee it's really a way that you can use to support me i really appreciate and feel free to reach out to me anytime in the community right this is my profile you can always reach out to me if you have any difficulties or whatsoever uh, thank you guys very much and uh, i hope this was helpful